<laughs> That's actually quite all right. You want to know why? What if I told you that not long after, I had one of my most intense encounters with Sanitar, got myself in and out of some nasty PvP situations, and ended up using strategies that, under normal circumstances, I wouldn't have even thought of. And why? Well, because I usually don't think. I simply react. And if you want to see how I actually became a better Tarkov player, how I forced myself to slow things down, be much more methodical and precise... I'm still human, by the way, so, you know, I'm not embarrassed. It's a journey, after all. But boy, does the journey get crazy from here. Yes! Today's first stop is Shoreline. As I had a few quests on this map and having spawned by the tunnel, I needed to visit the cottage, the pier, and of course the resort, just so I could mark the medical containers. But this is a pretty high traffic area, so naturally, I ran into a player's calf. Oh, hello? Oh, that's a dude. Alright, that's one. As for my loadout, I like to travel light. I brought an AKM, because I'm finally doing the Punisher, and upon completion I'll get the Epsilon container. Big win. But I also have this double barrel, because I need to eliminate seven scavs with headshots. So pretty much eliminate scavs upon scavs upon scavs. I quickly looted the scav and made my way towards the bus stop. My next stop resort, and then ideally, the pier. And of course the extract. I mean, I kind of should be avoiding PvP, but... I gotta visit the resort anyway, so... Oh, that's a jumper. Bro, one shot, one kill. <laughs> if y'all want me to do a master class on shooting, let me know. Alright, buddy boy. I think he was doing the Punisher as well. Oh, word, 26. Hell yeah. Well, another rig for me. Everything was quiet in the next couple of minutes, but I still needed to be careful because this is a very treacherous place. Well, that's a bear. Yeah, that's a PMC, bro. I gotta stop the bleed first. Hello? Did I get him? Yo, I think I got him. I think I actually got him. Oh, okay. Hey, man. You know what? Why aren't you down there with your buddy? It's not worth the risk. I'll back off. That's an MP9. There's a third one. Oh, God damn it. All right. And as it turned out, that was a PMC. And with two PMC and a couple of scaf kills under my belt, I took the win and extracted, because my motto from now on is live to fight another day. Small victories. What about command? They just left us. Unusual as it may seem, I felt like the game had rewarded me for my actions, because in the next raid I spawned by the pier, the perfect opportunity to mark the medical container, loot the safes, and then make my way to the resort. Well, one down. Usually don't happen. Oh! Tracer. Got him. There's more. Keep him coming, baby. Baby. I approached the compound and it seemed quiet. But here's a pro tip. Never take this place for granted. However, I managed to sneak my way inside, mark the ambulance, and then remembered I had another quest. Find Jaeger's photo album in the room 303 of the West Wing. And the good news? You don't need a key for this room. I usually approach the resort from the East Wing, and this time it was no different, because I thought the quest was located in the East Wing. I think I'm in the wrong wing, man. I'm the wrong wi wrong wing man? Wing? Okay. Yeah, I am. 
especially in the west. Hello. Hearing irregular footsteps could only mean danger. But then something occurred to me. Okay, that's a PMC. This might work. Just gonna casually pretend I'm a scav. It worked once. This might actually work. Cause he's gonna think I'm downstairs. Cause, you know, vertical audio is non-existent. Okay, he's moving. He knows. He knows. I'm a scav. <laughs> Alright, brother. Scavs move. They stop. Do your thing, buddy. Do your thing. Do your thing. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> Alright, this might be the cheekiest play I've ever made, because the last time I did it on streets, it was it was also cool, but it wasn't as cool as this, because it had a Batman moment. Quite unexpected. Don't look at me that way, man. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna move this in my backpack and use the Anna. So we're good. What are you thinking there, bud? Was that good or what? Bro, I I I can even find the energy to rhyme, you know? You guys should subscribe. <laughs> All right, let's go. Uh, we got a uh, visit 303. I broke the golden rule of Tarkov. And I guarantee I would have been fine had I just looked his way. Worst case scenario, I could have laid down suppressing fire and ran out. But that's how it goes. Now the quest didn't count because I didn't survive, but I kinda needed a break from shoreline. Wanting to complete a couple of quick tasks, I grabbed an MP5 and went to factory to finish Postman Pat and Chemical Part 3. If I got a squad coming at me, all right, we're good. <laughs> Why is it so quiet, brother? This guy was alone. All right, well, I'm not complaining. You know, I'm here for the quest, man. I don't need no. All right, grab the letter. Get out. Take the win. Be smart. Succeed, profit. Oh, what? What is that pathing, brother? Oh, guys on coke. He's passed out. Bro, I could camp this, you know? <laughs> Yeah, like that. I could literally camp the players' caps trying to extract here. Well, that's a headshot. That's a headshot. We don't know what. I took it slow, killed some more scavs for XP, grabbed the letter and extracted. I wasn't feeling like going back to shoreline just yet. And of course I had things to do on other maps. And now comes the important part. Stashing stuff that I usually wouldn't stash proved to be very useful. And so I got a key tool from Therapist. Now that's gonna come in handy cause I've been finding keys left and right. It's all about them filing cabinets. So reserve was next. And it actually started off great. I'm lost. Wait, no, I'm not. Oh, yeah, we're good. Oh! He cannot be alone. Of course not. Alright, that's a squad of three. I take back my Blind Fury nickname and 
I want you to call me the one tap. I mean, I was off to a good start, it just didn't end all that well. I pushed on, and actually ended up having some interesting moments. Going up the tower. How the hell did you end up there? Is it the vaulting? I've never seen that in my life. Now the guy was set up there pretty nicely, but this time I decided to be patient. He's up. Peak. Okay. Should have waited. Should have waited. I moved in to loot him, killed some scavs, and extracted. I know the mission wasn't done, but gear is gear. As I only had two keys for inventory check, my plan was to sneak in and wait for somebody else to open the door. And then, um, this happened. Oh, why? I thought it was just regular scavs, bro. And they followed me. That's another player. And Gluhar. What is it with me and in getting into, you know, these kinds of... Mm. In all honesty, I actually thought I had a chance. But anyway, did you know just how much pistols are underrated? Buh! I hit him. Damn. I relied too much on the face shot. Should have moved closer, bro. They got no clue what hit him. You know what? I think they're on. They're kind of scared. I decided to flank them from two floors above, because that way they wouldn't hear my footsteps that easily. And so this happened. Maz Luton. This is a different squad, though. They killed somebody. Did I kill the first guy? Bro! Oh! <laughs> okay. Did I kill the first guy? Took his dog tag. Alright. Hold the angle fair. I know, I know. I'll just say this, the most important thing is to not give up. So watch this. I came back with a Beretta, killed a couple of scavs, and made my way down to the bunker. You know, I'm still kind of mad because of the last one. Because that was so good, man. It's... Really? I got no tourniquet. Sit down. Okay. Bruh. That's what I thought. Now that was a good clutch. The only problem? I didn't have anything to stop the heavy bleed with. Why don't you have your meds down in your pockets? You little... Oh, my... Dude, seriously? Dude, what is this, early wipe? Yeah, I approximately had less than three minutes to live. You get a grizzly in your gamma and that's it? I honestly want to disconnect. But why can't I just heal like in day Z, dude? Oh, okay, wait. He might have one. I got like two minutes now, man. 
That's about it. But wait, there's um, there's a box here. No, not a box, a med bag. Okay, good. I hate this window. I officially hate this window. If anybody asks me, what do you hate the most about reserve? It's this window. Dude, you added vaulting and you, you can't vault through that window. It always, you know, Fs me up. It's sad. You know, sad spelled backwards is das and that's not good. <laughs> it's, it's my favorite joke. I don't know many jokes. I just talk too much when I'm nervous. <laughs> 76. 76. <laughs> this is why I love this game. This, right here, is what makes this game unique and ugly and the best goddamn game ever made. Okay. And full of bugs. Obviously. I might actually live through this. Watch there be a player's cab and he's just gonna be like, What on? Alright. Could use a backpack from you two little bees. No backpack, no nothing. These guys came in with a plan. And the plan was stop everybody going through that hallway. Because <laughs> that sure was a weird ass timing for them to be there, you know. Literally gonna finish the quest. Because this, again, is what Tarkov's about. And you guys can, like, argue with me. Oh, fair. Oh, I've never seen a countdown timer appear. This is how fast I play. Bullban. I think I need like this one and then the one across the water. The pond. The bunker pond. Yeah, I know my way around the bunker now. When I think I'm lost, I'm actually not lost. Dude. I wish people would, like, honestly enjoy the game as much as I do, and, you know, the way I do. Okay, we are out. First, I was afraid. I was petrified of a need to camper being near. Somebody's playing a game with me. Somebody's actually playing a... a very not tasty game with me. This is a joke, right? Like, this is actually a joke. Everything that could happen in a single EFT raid had just happened. <laughs> nah, man, nah. Just, just go. Just go, brother. Just go extract and... They didn't have meds, but at least they had grenades. I want to believe I'll be able to flush him out if he's even down here. He had every chance to extract, but he chose pain. Or maybe not. I hope not. Almost forgot about this. Am I gonna live? I'm gonna live?
Pam 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 pam. Hold your fire. You know, I think this raid summed up the intensity and the beauty of Tarkov, and I thought all was lost upon seeing that none of those players had meds in their pockets. And it only gets better from here. I continued the grind, so I was back to shoreline in no time, and I wanted to try and complete as many quests as possible in one go. Armed with an AKM, a pump action shoddy, and the Glock as my sidearm, I first ventured into the village to look for scavs. Check the stash. Loot the houses. Take it slow. I'm a methodical man. This is the new me. My survival rate about to go up from 26 to uh, 28 percent. I'm gonna do this with a shoddy. Okay, I thought he was gonna headshot me. All right, six more. Two. I think that counted. Pretty sure it did. Five more kills to go with the shotgun, so I slowly looted the village and then made my way to the cottage, as usually, a couple of scavs patrol over there. Dude, I'm not gonna lie for a second there, I thought that was a player. Just the way he looked at me. <laughs> Kinda glad it wasn't. Approaching the bus stop, I spotted another scav. Kind of want to catch this guy off guard. The dead scavs can spawn some awesome loot, and so I found 10 armor piercing rounds for my AK. I mean, it's not a lot, but I can top load him if push comes to shove. And as resort was my next stop, I picked him up just in case. Oh, whoa, whoa. that's Sanitar. Sanitar and the boys were right outside the building. So what do you think? Will those 10 AP rounds make a difference? I got an idea. This might work. One thing though, I, I can't miss 10 rounds. If they got all 10s, you know. Yeah, dumpster. Ah, uh, that's a Sphera. I think I saw an Alton. Or the other one, uh, Zisha. Yeah, that's an Alton. don't push me. I think they're not going to push me so long as I keep doing this. Easy. Punisher is done. What a way to complete it. He's the only one left. We got this. That's an SKS. Oh, 
baby. Thing is, now I gotta be super smart, man. Who? Ah, uh, okay. Save that for the mission, cause um, I can't sell that. I mean, I can sell it to therapists, but not being able to uh, use the flea market. It's uh, you know, it's okay. It's whatever. It's part of the pain. I gotta go and do the quest first. No, 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 no. Okay, I'm, I'm dead. Thank you. Bro, you're not gonna get me. Freak off. God damn, dude. Oh! Before stuffing my backpack, I quickly visited the room 303 in the West Wing and grabbed the photo album, just so I don't forget or run out of time. It's kind of like, ever since I slightly modified my mindset about what success means in Tarkov, you know, I've actually started having much better raids. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can relate, but that, that's the case. And I'm dead. Okay, no, I'm not. We gotta go. Like, now. Because, um, pushing Pat to Lighthouse. I'll drop this, though. It's gonna slow me down. Eight minutes. I think I need, like, four or five, perhaps, at this weight. Ooh, man, I was I was not gonna say anything, but like I was during this whole trip. I was kind of like hoping there were no scabs here now <laughs> Waste of time, but we're good unless somebody's watching the extract which I Want to believe we are okay to push down Dude what a raid we got quests done. We got three quests. We got Sanitar. This is gonna be a hell of an XP run. I gotta keep doing this, you know, just play smart. Other guys saw bears in this area. You better worry about bears. Let's just say I had more success in these two days playing than I did in the entire challenge up to that point. But moving on to catch up on some more quests, my next stop was Streets of Tarkov. Why can't I ever find this? Like, I can never learn. It can be here in the drawer. It can be somewhere behind the scav. No, it's that room! Oh my god! Okay. <laughs> I think methodical is um, the key. You know, the funny thing is I'm not ratting. I'm just like taking my time. Not pushing every goddamn shot I hear. Brother, I gotta go to therapy and like get diagnosed with some kind of ADHD. Something's going on <laughs> in the noggin. Player's calf. There are more player's calves. I can't tell if the sniper's calf shot at him. There's a lot of action going on. Dude, I'm getting sieged. They're all player scavs. I was kind of lucky that PMC was alone. Yeah.
Like, I just want to do the quest. Take the letter. Go out. Got him. I've kind of been missing the MP9. You should always loot the players' cabs on streets. Look at this. Goddamn gold mines. Dude, I swear I always get more loot from player scabs than actual PMCs. Especially on this map, because it's a, you know, it's pure treasure. Weapons hold. But Fairy didn't pick up the quest item. Oh, I did. I forgot to record it. Sorry, but you can see it from here when I walked in the room. And this is one of the three spawns. I kind of enjoyed using this little MP9, so I thought why not go back and complete revision. Do you guys believe me that I never found the rusty bloody key or whatever? Rusted bloody key? It spawns here. Or so they say so. Somebody's getting shot. That's a thick boy. It's an SVD. I cannot catch that. Okay. This gun is good. Yeah, they're alone. I mean, it's a duo. Damn. Hello? Bro, what? That's a gaming chair. Yeah, I'll leave this up for debate, but the vibes were not great. 5,000 kills in 600 hours? Let me know what you guys think. I went back to do revision, even though I was a tiny bit disheartened. The BTR rolled up, but I finished the quest and extracted. Oh! Wait, they're not gonna shoot me? What the hell? Oh, I'm going out. Unwilling to lose any more gear to suspicious activities, I grabbed my trusty old hatchet and went back to do some looting. Oh! <laughs> I think I found like five this wipe. No! Woo! Even if I do get killed, doesn't matter because I can sell it. <laughs> no! Why? I got nothing. Hello. Uh, just kill me, bro. It's all. Oh. This guy's nice. Thank you. <laughs> Surviving doesn't matter when you can't use the flea market. So I pocketed the LedX, sold it to Therapist, and traveled to Customs with the intent to finish Chemical Part 4, accompanied by a Beretta.
thing is, I can tell how many there are. If it's just one dude, I gotta catch him off guard. Okay. Huh. So that happened. <laughs> Wait, what is this cope? Scab looted him. No, I don't care about you, man. I don't care about you. Well, look at this scope, dude. Is this a new meta? Finally! Goddamn quest rewards! I'm on fire. Yeah, it's been looted. Woo! I'm not gonna push my luck. I didn't stuff my backpack, so... <laughs> just yoink this. Just so we got something. I mean, we already got something. We got the cool M4. We got the quest done. Weapons hold. Yes, I call this a successful day in Tarkov. Well, two successful days in Tarkov. I earned some money, got some ammo, and most importantly, I got two ammo boxes. But I was just getting warmed up. Guided by the power of the pistols from the previous raid, I took my Glock 19 and went back to streets. Yeah, that's not a scab. <laughs> came straight from the spawn. Bonjour, mademoiselle. 